Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm back with another cloth free day tutorial where we're going to learn how to make a cowl top. So I'll just zoom this out in the 2D window, scroll down, scroll up here. So we're going to draft a bodice in here. I've already inserted an avatar in the 3D window. I'm going to use this polygon tool right here to draft the cowl neck top pattern. Uh, we're going to click, we're going to start from here, click, 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 then click and drag for the um, hole, click back on the previous point, and then the waist, at the waist we're going to narrow it down, so it's going to be like this. Click, click, click. All right, we're going to use the edit pattern tool or you can press Z, Z from the keyboard to maybe shift the points somewhere if you want to. I'd uh, choose to rather alter it later once I drape it, whatever amendments I have to make to the draft, I'll make it later. For now, let's unfold this, right click using the edit pattern tool again, unfold. And you can use G for making an internal line here. So basically, we're going to click, click and enter. We're going to fold it from here. You can take this fold arrangement tool, click on this point, change the view, right click and drag. So I want to rotate to this side because we want to fold it to the inside. Well, that's how... Uh, the draft goes for the front and then we're going to make a rectangle very simple rectangle which is going to have you can click and leave the click if you want specific measurements i want the width to be exactly 12 the length would be somewhat six inches and okay so keeping it 12 it's going to be a tube like back the width sorry the width is 12 inches because of waist where my top is going to end is the waist circumference 24 inches so I've taken exactly the half of it this I'm going to take the select remove tool shift it to the back uh, and then rotate it flip it horizontally or you can simply press 8 for the back view turn on the avatar arrangement points from here You'll be able to see the arrangement point so we click on the pattern and we click on the arrangement point press 2 the arrangement is done we're supposed to make strap as well so i will quickly make a strap which is going to be very noodle like using the rectangle tool again i'm going to make a very thin strap let's arrange this as well zoom it in alt click and drag to pan the page so i'm going to click here and i'm going to arrange it like this i am going to elongate this a little okay copy this and paste it to the other side right click copy alt click and drag right click paste here so i'm going to click here let me now put the sewing lines so we're going to use the segment sewing tool here click and click easy click and click again cool for the straps i'm going to use the free sewing tool let's zoom it into this part free swing tool here zoom it in so we're going to click 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 and click where you get this blue dot so you'll be able to match the width of both the swing lines this way okay one of them has been done oh i'm so sorry i am so sorry it's going to be till not here but 
here because that's supposed to be the other part is supposed to be you know a folded inside yeah so this is how it goes for the other side as well you're going to click and click click and click let's rotate it to the back Okay, I see I've not arranged the straps properly. I'll just take my selector move tool and I'll shift it like this. Okay, bringing it kind of in the center. You gotta change the views to see that you're making correct arrangement. Yes. Okay, let me zoom it in. Alt, click and drag, pan it, free sewing tool again. So, Alt, click and drag to pan the page. Let me see, this goes from be very careful about the direction of the swing lines or we can reverse it later as well but i'll try to do it the right way so okay so it's starting from the corner to the center in the 3d and here as well i'll make sure i make it like corner to the center somewhere here Remember, for the noodle straps, you're always supposed to tag these straps on the avatar. Take your tag on avatar tool. Click uh, on the area that you want, of the garment that you want to tag. And then click on the area of the avatar where you want that point to be. Like simply clicking, clicking. Let's arrange the other strap very quickly in a similar way all right let's put the swing lines so the other side of the strap is this again the free swing tool it's not this one but the other one yeah so it goes corner to the center back pattern draft so we here corner to the center not exactly the center but towards the center back the direction basically and of course tagging it let me see if i tag the exact middle of the other strap here this one needs to be shifted a bit before i tack it to the shoulder back on avatar so this point here i hope this works okay i'll press the space bar let's see Okay, now a few changes that we might require are, one is changing the grain line because uh, these patterns are basically cut on bias. So I'll go to texture, 2D pattern, material texture, 2D pattern, and I'll click on this grain line and I'll rotate it to 45 degrees. This is the first step that we do and then simulate. Next, we can reduce the particle distance. Click on the pattern from the property editor. Let's keep it eight for now. Spacebar again. So you can clearly see the fold. I am going to reduce this. 
click, drag, right click. The height can be, I guess seven should be enough. Like drag, right click, seven inches should be enough. Space bar. And if you wanted to edit pattern tool, uh, I can raise it a little bit more, I guess. This entire part. And yeah, let me move this inside. Like drag right leg using the edit pattern tool. I can see this is ruining the fit of the top from the sides. So maybe this solves it. This length is 5.2. I gotta increase this to six. Drag. Yeah, this is six, so you can uh, also right click on this change length. Let's make it six from the other side. Change length. Make it six. Okay, and then delete this. Yeah, that's how your cow neck goes. And for a perfect drape, I want to I want to reduce the particle distance further to five. It makes force more fabrication. And then uh just to complete this look, I'd like to add or so close curved thingy to it so i've taken my ellipse tool i'm going to click it here i want this to have a radius of 18 inches then an internal ellipse clicking exactly at the center of the ellipse that we've already made. I want the circumference of this to be 24, which is the round waist. Converting this to a hole, right click, convert to hole. Arranging it in here. Free sewing tool again. Oh, let me just put them, they're cluttering a lot. So, okay, yeah, cool. Free sewing tool, just keep an eye on your 3D window when you're setting the free sewing. So you see, I am starting from this point. So I keep an eye on the 3D window as well. So it's left to right click and click. 
here also I'd want it to be left to right. So we have parallel swing lines. Clicking it and shifting it to the back, press 8. Okay, free seam tool again. This time it's going to start. I'll make sure left to right in the 3D. Okay, it's left to right in the 3D. And for the top as well, it is supposed to be left to right. And space bar. Press two, and we have a beautiful cowl neck skater dress with us. Of course, the length could have been longer. But yeah, looks good. Last thing I just noticed uh, this isn't exactly 12. So I'll just take my edit pattern tool, right click, change the length. This is also supposed to be exactly 12. Not from here, but both the sides. 12. So instead of starting, I'll keep it both the sides. So it increases it proportionally. Maybe while editing stuff, I changed this or I never measured this. But now, okay, cool. And the particle distance for the circular skirt as well from the property editor, I'll set it to 6. Can keep it anywhere from four to eight for a nice fall. Then you can go to fabric from the object browser, set it to whatever kind of fabric you want it to be, or if you want to insert any prints, silk or satin, and I would want it to be. Oh, cool. So yeah, that's how you can quickly draft a cowl neck top or a dress and let me know in the comment section or whatever kind of tutorial you want me to make for you guys and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.